In this tutorial, we're going to go and look at making custom preferences and media sizes for OpenShot. So let's just open, let's open OpenShot very quickly. Let's have a quick look and see what we're trying to do and why you would want to do this. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. Okay, so once you've got open shot open okay why do you want to drive and change these sizes of um, media outputs okay what I would recommend is is considering what different platforms especially like um, Instagram they have strict formatting on how you should upload your videos so I would try and conform to those standards and those generally pixels pixels are 1080 by 1080p for example um, Sorry, 180 by sorry, 1080 by 1080 pixels. Okay, so it's it's a square resolution, but you can make any size of these work or suit your needs. Okay, so how that how's that done? So in essence, if we go and set up our sorry, my apologies. Uh, if you go and use this choose profile, okay, it's in essence you're just creating a profile. Okay, so I've gone and created some of these already, which I'll share with you. But in essence, you can see by hovering, there's a whole lot of different um, preferences that you can go and look at sizes. So these are giving you the pixel sizes. Okay, and I've made a couple like Instagram. I've gone and made a couple here. Instagram 1080. I've got another Instagram. So these are my Instagram ones. Okay, these are very easy to make. And I've made a test one here as well. Okay, so... If you pick one of these profiles, I'll, I'll just use the test profile for the time being. Just hover, sorry, Michael, geez, T for test. And scroll down, there it is there. So you'll notice that this is a 1080 by 1080. And if you're using GIMP to make PNG files to slot in here, make sure that they all fit this resolution. You can scale them to work. Okay, I'm not going to cover how you would go and make that in this tutorial, but you just need to understand that your media needs to match this video. You can use other video in here to try and stretch it, but then it might not look that great. Or you might have to frame it in such a way that you only see parts of the video. Okay, so just that's something to consider. Okay, so how's OpenShot doing this? All you'll need to go and do is you'll need to go and find the installation location of the software. So in my case, it's on C drive, and you're going to go to program files, and you're going to simply go and find the OpenShot OpenShot video editor and then there's a profile section okay now you can see all of those files and here's my test one okay so all that you need to do in this instance is copy one that you would like to use as a reference and in this case I will try and copy here I've made my own 15 all that is I want one at 15 frames per second but it doesn't really matter you can go and copy the one that I would probably copy is this um, I won't copy ultra, ultra HD, there should be an HD, let's just have a look here, HD 25, this one looks good. So send it, I'll copy this, copy this, and you're going to put it on your desktop, okay? Now all that this is, is te technically a text file. So in order to rename this, if you go to rename, okay, you'll notice that there's no extension showing, so you'll have to go to your folder to do this. You might have to go to your folder, you're going to go to desktop over here. Now, in order to see the file extensions, you're going to have to switch on file extensions. So you can start seeing the file extensions, okay? So let me just bring that back in, file extensions. Now you notice that this file doesn't have a file extension. So what you need to do is you need to rename this and give it a .txt. F2. Dot, switch off your text, your caps lock if it's on. Okay, now you're going to press enter. Now, once it's changed to a, te a text file, you'll notice now that it'll allow me to go and edit it. So all that you need to do is make sure, leave the rest as it is. Okay, this is just giving you your aspect ratio, display aspect ratio. So here you'll just need to work that out. If it's a square ratio, try and work out the ratio as rough, as accurately as possible. Okay. But here you can see your frame rate. So if I wanted to change it to 15 or 30 frames per second, you'll go and change that here. Okay, 30, it doesn't matter. So if I change it to 15, for example, in this instance, if I made a square, but here I could make this a 
600 by 600 okay ratio here we're going to change this to 15 and here I'm just going to call this test 600 and then 15 frames per second okay so that's totally up to you just give it a name and you're going to save this in the same name as well so I'll grab this I'll explain what I'm doing now copy that as well so that should work this is going to be a one-to-one -one ratio okay also go and google these different there are different sizes otherwise you might just have to try and make it work with what you're trying to achieve here okay so I'm just going to go and say file and then I'm going to go save okay close that here if I open if I open this file again you'll notice that that's all changed so I'm simply just going to go and click F2 and paste and I'm going to delete the extension now and you'll notice it'll say yes you sure you want to do it that's good now you're going to grab this file copy and you're going to go back to this PC local drive program files open shot and you're going to go to Profiles, and I'm going to save it here. Paste. Yes, continue. Okay. Now I've got my other test one. This one I can get rid of, because I don't need that anymore. Now I'm going to close OpenShot, and I'm going to re relaunch OpenShot. Okay. Okay, so once open shot is open, if you go and set your profile now and you can go and find that test folder, you'll see that the test 600 by 600 will be here. And you see it's changed all of that. And you can see it's given us... Uh, so just try and work out your aspect ratio as best you can. All right, and now if you want to go and record, just make sure that everything else looks good. Um, here, starting frame, profile, so here you can just go and make sure, frame rate, that looks good. Video settings, that all looks good. Image sequencing, that looks good, that looks good. Okay, advanced options. You can go and change this a bit, but that's done. Here you can see your aspect ratio. You can go and customize it afterwards, but you just want to try and keep that the same, and the pixel ratio will be one by one. That's important, okay. Okay, so that all looks good. Once you've done that, you can simply just export the file. Okay.